The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, and on Facebook and YouTube as well. And I'm Guy Newcomb, the scoreboard guy. You can follow this on Twitter, follow along live or whatever, but a great pleasure to welcome to the network Lee Summit West, head girls basketball coach Jared Broughton. Coach, uh, thanks so much for your time today. Absolutely. Glad to join and appreciate the invite to uh, uh, come on with you. And you got your you got your Patrick Mahomes jersey on. They're taking on the uh, – Chargers here tonight, maybe the biggest game of the season uh, that's, for the Chiefs. Right. Yep, right in right in your backyard. Yes, yes, yeah. The coach, We're uh, all excited here. Yes, I bet uh, you guys. Uh, you're off to a two and two start, uh, I believe, here on the season. Tell us a little bit about uh, Lee Summit West and what you've got coming back from a year ago, and maybe what you've had to replace uh, due to graduation, and what what's the outlook. Yeah, so uh, two and two overall right now. We're, we're coming off uh, a year last year where we finished in the quarterfinals. Uh, really had a tremendous run to finish the season. Uh, we lost a, a couple of uh, seniors who were very vital to us uh, off that team that, that had been two had start, started for about two years uh, there, and both college athletes and uh, Morgan Pedig and, and Brooke Ellis. Uh, uh, Brooke playing at Rockhurst and Morgan at Simpson uh, College. Uh, but uh, we bring back uh, Tasia Johnson, our point guard, uh, who's an all-state point guard, uh, who is a, a, a high-level player, uh, high IQ player, and, and, and a, a tremendous leader and teammate. Uh, we also bring back with her, we get uh, Bailey Burns, who's a junior, and, and she's a really nice player uh, and, and is really bringing everything together. Uh, and, and really off to a great start. And then we have uh, Katie Huffman, uh, who's a 6'6", six, 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 uh, big for us, who uh, played a lot last year as a freshman. Uh, so kind of from that, we were filling in with uh, uh, Hallie Walker, uh, who's a junior, who's just a tremendous leadership that she brings to us. And when we got a lot of freshmen, we, we've got uh, – uh, we start a freshman uh, and Abby went, and then we bring – uh, three three freshmen off the bench uh, from those uh, from that. So uh, we're very young and kind of uh, going through uh, trying to you know understand where everybody is on the floor offensively and, and uh, getting a feel for uh, where the ball needs to be and, and where it needs to go. But defensively, I think we're is where our strength is, and I think we're really growing there. And uh, I've been really good defensively. It's just kind of sure enough some things offensively, but when you're when you're young like us, it's just going to take some time and a little experience. And, and uh, hopefully come February, we're going to be ready to rock and roll and uh, and be at our best is what uh, we, we talk about daily. Yeah. Hey, again, we're visiting with Jared Broughton, the head head basketball coach at least Summit West uh, on the girls' side. And coach, tell us a little bit about uh, your background, how long you've been there, where you cut your teeth at, so to speak, as far as high school, college, and, and how you ended up there at uh, Lee Summit West. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, so I, I went to college at William Jewell uh, and was able to uh, um, be a student assistant there. I played for a couple of years and then uh, they allowed me to stay on for as a student assistant and gained a lot of experience, uh, you know, learning under Coach Holly and, and the legend that he is. And uh, there was a, a coach there named uh, Kyle Taylor. He's a, he's a junior college coach now in uh, Salt Lake City, really had a profound impact on me. Uh, and then from there, I ended up at Oak Grove as the C team uh, boys coach for three years uh, under Ty Hames, uh, who's an assistant principal there now and a phenomenal coach uh, in person. He really had a, a major impact and helped me get to where I am now. And I uh, coached the girls there, uh, became the varsity coach at Oak Grove for five years. And then uh, this job here at West opened up, uh, kind of applied on a whim and, and just uh, uh, one thing led to another, and here I am now, and uh, I, I love it here. We have amazing uh, staff to work with, amazing kids to work with. Uh, I, I couldn't be more uh, happy to be at this play at West here, and, and 
to coach the girls I do and deal with the parents that we have that are just uh, tremendous people. And, and we have such support for our program. It, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I, I look for the continued success. Coach, and for, and for viewers around the state, I know you've got uh, uh, kind of a unique co conference situation. And if I understand it correctly, it, it kind of changes every couple of years with, with the, with when the numbers come in. Tell us a little bit about the conference that you're in right now and, and handicap it a little bit for, for folks around the state that might not be as familiar with the team that you play. Yeah, so our, our conference is, is a gauntlet. Uh, we, every night is, is somebody's got uh, players, and, and it is, uh, I, I feel like, a high-level uh, conference that could rival anywhere, uh, anywhere else in the state uh, here. We, we just got done. We played uh, Blue Spring South on Monday. And they have two tremendous guards uh, in Jada, uh, Jada Mason and uh, uh, Sine Beverly. They bring two bi they have two bigs. They're really, really talented. We played Park Hill, who has, I think, one of the best players in the state, and, and Kennedy Townsend, uh, who's going to Creighton. Uh, those two are our major, major players in our conference, and I think just uh, in the state overall uh, there. And, and you go from from those. We played Ray Peck, uh, who's in our conference. We get Liberty tonight, Liberty North, uh, Lee Summit North, also in our conference. So uh, we got tremendous programs uh, that have had a lot of success uh, and, and done uh, really well uh, postseason. And uh, every night is is a test. And if you're not ready to play, you're going to get beat in our conference. Well, coach, you mentioned you know, a lot of those conference games. Some of them you've already played. Uh, what, what does your schedule look like and uh, with, with regards to kind of – you play a lot of your conference games early, and then what do you do over kind of the holiday time uh, to kind of keep – I mean, obviously, maybe a lot of practices, but I know Truman's got a, a tournament. There's the uh, tournament at Lebanon, but the, are, those are all in January. Uh, so yeah. what do you do between now and then? Yeah, we uh, we get uh, we get Rockbridge next uh, – um, on Monday, so that's, that's another uh, – Another big one for us, uh, but then we're we're going to take a little time, uh, you know, with it when we have a, this young team that's that's uh, a lot of girls that are just going through a, a gauntlet of a season that uh, we have. Uh, we're going to give them a little time. We'll come back after uh, Christmas uh, that week and, and start getting prepared uh, for uh, the run of January and February because uh, really how we kind of look at it is that that Christmas time is the last real time that you're going to have where we have consistent control and we get to control our practices. We get to do and work on the things that we need to, because after that you start focusing on other teams, scouting reports for prep game prep. Uh, and, and we, we start really diving into that and you don't really have that time to focus on just you uh, like you know, you would at this time. So we really value that time over Christmas uh, to, kind of step, step back and reassess how is the first half of the season gone? What can we change? What what do we need to adjust? Uh, are we playing the appropriate people? Uh, how, how do we, uh, what are we, what do we need to do as a coaching staff to put our kids in a better uh, place to succeed uh, there? And because and, January, like you mentioned, our schedule gets uh, really ramps up and, and uh, we, we go Truman tournament and, uh, Lebanon and, and we see some different teams and we're going to we're going to be prepared and uh, hopefully this Christmas break and those practices we can use to uh, prepare them and, and uh, put them in a situation where they feel comfortable and ready to go. Hey coach and again we're visiting with uh, coach Jerry Broughton the head coach at Lee Summit West on the girls side and coach you mentioned you know, kind of travel and stayed a little bit there with the Lebanon and uh, how, what, what, how valuable is that to kind of see how uh, you know, other parts of the state play their style and maybe even officiating when you go to think, start thinking about making those runs uh, in February and March into a, into a quarterfinal matchup like you were last year. Absolutely. I think uh, I, I think it, it's great experience and exposure for our girls uh, to, to um, get them to see some different players and different teams and, and different matchups that we normally don't see. Uh, and uh, a chance for us to see players throughout the state and kind of see where we line up um, around the state. We, we have a feel for where we probably fall in the mix here in the Kansas City area, but I think it's good to kind of stretch yourself and, and challenge challenge ourselves by playing a schedule that uh, involves teams throughout and around the state. And uh, we try to do that every year. 
Uh, and, and to go along with that is, you know, you get the opportunity to kind of bond as a team. And, and those trips are uh, trips that girl, the girls are going to remember forever, probably, and, and make a lot of memories. And hopefully uh, we can get a few wins along the way. Hey, you bet. Well, Coach, uh, we certainly appreciate you being generous with your time here today and uh, at the Missouri Sports Network. This is something, you know, we launched this in July. Uh, you know, the scoreboard guy's been around for about 15 years and uh, was part of ESPN for a little bit, had to make a, a kind of a decision there to kind of step away and uh, branch out, so to speak, on my own. But uh, uh, always got a lot of support from the folks up in the Kansas City area. 810 Sports has been – you know, a follower, and they've helped out quite a bit. And I know you guys are playing in the 810 Sports Shootout uh, mm -hmm. coming up as well. So another opportunity there uh, for you guys to kind of, you know, measure yourselves against some of the teams, better teams in the state. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And, and, and we're going to play in that and uh, get to play. We're going to venture over to the Kansas side and play, I think, uh, Blue Valley, uh, Blue Valley or Blue Valley North and that. And I, I know either of those teams are, are, are super talented and, uh, it, it uh, it's going to be us having to be ready to go, and and we're going to challenge and stretch ourselves again to see see what what we got. All right, All right. do you have a final on the score tonight? Chiefs Chiefs going to win. Uh, I'm going Chiefs 31 27. I think it's going to be close, and I think we're going to win it late. All right, very good. Well, Coach, again, I appreciate your time. Anytime, with any any of us here at the Missouri Sports Network can do anything for you. Let us know, and I look forward to uh, visiting with you uh, again throughout the season. Absolutely. Have me on any time. I love it. Hey, you bet. You bet. Coach Jared Broughton, head coach Lee Summit West, uh, girls basketball. And coach, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Coach Jared Broughton there stepping in, and uh, you again, you are watching uh, the Missouri Sports Network here at MissouriSportsNetwork.com where everyone has a home field advantage. We're certainly glad – that you've tuned in, and as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here for the holidays. And you'll see some some of those holiday wishes and the Missouri, and Missouri Highway Patrol messages coming out. We just had uh, early earlier today. Uh, Ashton Judd uh, from West Plains was kind enough to cut us a little segment uh, from the West Plains Lady Zizzers and, and herself reminding us to take that three seconds and buckle up. And we're going now going to bring in uh, from Steelville, uh, Steelville head basketball coach, uh, Zach Kennedy has been kind enough here to join us. And uh, coach Kennedy uh, of the lady Cardinals coach, tell us about the season. And first, Hey, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me guy. Um, season so far this year, just we're four and three right now. Uh, we've started off. We've played two games against teams our size or smaller. We've kind of put together a schedule here to start out that uh, can look a little rough at times. Um, we've played Fatima. We've played Helias. We've played St. James. We've had Sullivan. We had Borgia the other night. Uh, we're definitely playing some schools that uh, see some tough competition and definitely getting us ready for our, our run towards the end of the year. And, and coach, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your team. What uh, what you had to replace from last year because of graduation? Who are some of the folks that are going to kind of step in and and fill those roles uh, from graduation? Uh, so we lose uh, Alyssa Church, been our point guard for four years, and then um, we also lose Sydney Booker. Sydney's at William Woods now, averaging about ten points and ten rebounds a game. She. Uh, uh, Probably it, she is our all-time leading scorer. She's got our rebounding record. Alyssa has our assist record. So, you know, you know they had quite a few accolades to their names, and uh, not an easy thing to replace at all. But we do return some girls. We do have eight of our ten that went to the final four last year. Um, out of our top eight from last year, we returned six, which was pretty nice. Um, we had a return a girl that played all through middle school in her freshman year that returned this year as a senior and came back. She's given us some minutes in Caitlin Midlow. Um, our our five starters right now, of course, we return Naomi Perkins. Um, she's she's picked up some of the scoring load a little bit this year. Uh, we return Toby Pock, who her scoring's also gone up. Uh, Dalen Pryor, who started for us as a freshman and then came off the bench for us last year. She's 
putting in about 10 a game now. So our, our points are, we're finding our points where we need to. Um, and then Lauren Davis, she's giving us 10 here and there. Um, but she, she's a big presence on our defense. She's played Sydney's role on the top of our one through one. Um, almost a flawless exchange defensively there. They're same length, same height. Uh, athleticism is somehow pretty equally matched. It's hard to say that when you lose a Sydney Booker, but uh, Lauren runs the top of our defense very, very well. And then right in the middle of our defense, uh, Haley Woodall, another senior that started for three years, just returning those girls. It gave a lot of comfort level to some of the other girls that are coming up and try to fill a role, just knowing, you know, we're, we're returning four girls that have started. Reagan Martin comes off the bench. She started before. She started two games for us this year already with some injury stuff that we've had to deal with. Uh, you know, I think we're finally figuring out our roles a little bit. First couple games was who who does this, whose turn is it kind of deal. And now we finally figured out that it doesn't matter whose turn it is, find the basket, put it in. And Coach, you mentioned your four and three start. Your last time out, you defeated Borgia 51 to 38. Early on here in the season, what are some things that, that you feel like you're doing really well as a team? Um, defensively, uh, I feel like, you know, even the other night we played Helias in the first round of Sullivan. And can't, most of the time you can't hang your hat on a 31-point loss. But in our first half, we had a nine-point lead at halftime. Um, defensively, you know, Lauren at the top was causing a lot of problems. Haley was doing a very good job at cutting everything off and rotating back to where she needed to be. Helias has got a great inside presence in their sophomore um, in Kaling. Uh, and then they've got two really, really tough guards. And I thought first half, we had put everything together. We were figuring it out. Um, we knew at halftime that they, were, they weren't they were a team that was going to lay down, that they were going to come out, and they were going to have their push there. And, you know, we finally started to answer it. And we just had one play where, you know, Lauren picks up her fourth foul and Haley tries to take a charge on the same play, and we lose both of them. And, and you know – not to say we didn't have girls that could step up and fill those roles, but at the level they were playing at at that game where everything was clicking, everything they had figured everything out, you know, it, it changed the big swing for us, having two starters that are such a big presence defensively go out for us. You've got, uh, I think you're off until next week, you've got Salem, and then over the Christmas break, you've got the uh, uh, Bob Seacrest Jr. Uh, Central Christmas turn. You got Frederick Town in the first round of that. They're also four and three. But uh, that tournament and 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 your involvement in it. So we've got we we still have to finish the Sullivan tournament. We do have Friday night. We have Owensville tomorrow night in the third place game for Sullivan. We'll have Salem Monday and then we'll have Crocker on Tuesday. Some of our schedule stuff got a little switched around um, with the Fatima tournament moving. And then we get into the Christmas tournament. And the Christmas tournament, I mean, if you've never been in this building when that happens, it, it's an atmosphere unlike any other. Uh, we played in a championship a couple of years ago that went three overtimes. And, you know, even after our final four run, I, you know, you never say that anything's bigger than a final four run. But, that you know, those games, th this is number three. Like, and it, it was very, very close. When, when that gym is full, when we're when it's at capacity, when everything's going on, um, when, when you get a little bit of that edge when you're playing Central and not everybody there in that area kind of enjoys Central all the time and you get a lot of backing from that big bowl area, uh, it, it's just, just an atmosphere unlike any other that we find in any tournament we go to or any game that we play in. Um, we get Fredericktown in the first round. They've had a good start to their season. Um, they've played some people really well. South Iron's the one in this tournament, and, you know, they played them the other night. And from from my understanding, I haven't seen a film on that yet, they kept it pretty close, kept it within 10, 12 for quite a while. At the end, when they got down to having to take some chances and foul there, it got to a 22-point game. Um, and just with the teams we've played, we kind of know how that goes. We dig ourselves a hole, dig ourselves out, and then at the end we've got to try to make big plays. And sometimes you miss when you're trying to – get everything back on every play. Um, <clears throat> the the tournament is another really good one for us. Uh, you know, South Iron's the number one, Central the number two. We ended up as the three seed. Um, the four and the five are playing really well. Potosi and Festus, the, they, they've had a great season. And then Fredericktown's doing well also. 
Um, I think what we've played so far this year gives us a very good prep for what's coming into it. I mean, even the win we got the other night, like Borgia's not a small school. Like they just came off playing Cardinal Ritter. They're they're playing some big schools also. So I, I like the preparation we have going into it. I like where we're headed. Um, and just excited about this tournament as a whole. Again, we're visiting with Zach Kennedy, head coach of Steelville Lady Cardinals. And Coach Kennedy, for uh, for the viewers and the listeners, tell us a little bit about your background. How long have you been at Steelville? Where'd you go to high school and college? And how'd you end up there? Um, this is my ninth year in Steelville. Uh, my family is originally from Viburnum. Uh, my stepfather was military, so I actually graduated right outside of Fairbanks, Alaska. Um, was recruited on a football scholarship, ended up in North Dakota, uh, tried to get close to home and ended up at Culver Stockton for a year and then did another season at the University of St. Francis right outside of Chicago. Um, didn't finish playing my full career out, came back, went to Missouri Baptist and finished up um, my degree. Degrees actually in special ed, came here for elementary special education I've been the elementary PE teacher here for quite a while, was uh, Seth Collins' assistant for the last eight years before this, um, been the track coach for seven years. Uh, I'm to the point where th this is home. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to put my whole heart into, and uh, this program is going to get everything I've got. And Coach, tell, tell us a little bit about, as we travel around the state, we just had uh, Lee Summit West was on. We've had – uh, oh, uh, Springfield Catholic was on earlier, Web City. It's always kind of, uh, you know, neat to hear kind of the conferences. It kind of handicap your conference, who's in it, uh, and who, uh, who's maybe the favorite. Where do you guys fit in? You know, we're in the, we're in the Gascon A Valley Conference. Um, that includes like Viburnum, us, Bell, Cuba, uh, Bourbon, don't know if it's, and Vienna. And, um, you know, we, we've had a nice little run here in the conference. Uh, Cuba, Cuba's coming along. Uh, the night after we played Sullivan to a three-point game, they actually were able to top Sullivan by about 19. Um, so they, they played very, very well in the Fatima tournament. They're, they're doing some really great things with their program. Jet Mullally is their new coach this year. Um, I do think until somebody comes and takes it, we are the favorite. But, but Cuba's, Cuba's coming along. Um, except we're pretty excited about that game. We're pretty pumped up about it. Very good. Very good. Well, coach, I really appreciate uh, yourself being, uh, making yourself available. I know everyone's at school and, uh, this is something we started on July one. I, I used to travel around and, and, and do interviews with coaches and kids and, and then COVID hit. So we had kind of had to come up with a situation and, and right now the, the kids and the coaches have been very responsive to it. They they enjoy it because it's not a you know it's not a live air on radio. It's live, uh, but right now we've kind of we can kind of fit it into everybody's schedule. And I and I appreciate you working us in today. Oh, I appreciate you having us. Um, any anytime I get to talk about our kids, talk about our team, uh, I love taking that opportunity. Um, just getting our just getting us out there a little bit. We you appreciate bet. it. You bet. Well, Coach Kennedy, you have a great day, and thanks so much for being part of the Missouri Sports Network. Thanks again for having me. You bet. Coach Zach Kennedy, uh, kind enough to join us. Steelville, he's a lady girl. Uh, I'm sorry, the Lady Cardinals uh, High School has been there for nine years. We certainly appreciate him stepping in. We're going to step away and come back, and we'll be talking uh, a little blue eye uh, girls basketball with uh, head coach Ken L. Frank after. Oh, uh, uh, just a little bit of time off. Keep it right here at Missouri Sports Network, where everyone has a home field advantage. The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. <laughs> 